Telstra is one of the biggest telecommunications companies in Asia. Hong Kong has been its regional headquarters for decades. I spoke to Cynthia Whelan, the company's head of international business, to find out why. There's a couple of reasons why Hong Kong is a great market for us to have our headquarters. Firstly, of course, is its geographic proximity, not only to China, but to many of the important markets for us in Asia Pacific. But also Hong Kong in and of itself is a great market. But importantly, as a telecommunications company for ourselves and for many of our uh, global peers, there's a large amount of infrastructure that runs through Hong Kong. So it makes a lot of sense for us to have our headquarters based in such an important market. And when choosing Hong Kong as an Asian headquarters, was tax and a skilled workforce important in choosing Hong Kong? Well, certainly Hong Kong is an easy place to do business. And so there are certain conditions in the Hong Kong market that make it a very logical place to set up a headquarters. Tax, of course, is one of them. Uh, English is well spoken in Hong Kong. Uh, the legal system in Hong Kong is also um, makes a lot of sense and it's quite easy to understand. Um, but, but for us, the main, the main reason was um, just its proximity, its, its location. And, and Hong Kong is an easy place to get in and out of. You know, there's a lot of multinationals. There's about 4,000 multinationals and large companies that have got their headquarters in Hong Kong. And the reason that a lot of companies do that is because it is not only just physically located very close to China, but the Hong Kong airport is phenomenal. It's incredibly efficient. And so it's an easy place to get in and out of and to use as a hub for the Asia Pacific region. Now, Hong Kong's a very competitive place. What do you practically need to do to set up a business? Well, the first thing is you need to decide whether or not you want to take office space. And office space, like all rental in Hong Kong, is really expensive. And so probably the best thing to do is decide which part of Hong Kong you actually want to be based. Do you actually need to be in the CBD or can you be a bit further out? Because the further away from the main business district you are, the less expensive the rent is. Um, secondly, look at local talent. Make sure that you're hiring local staff as well as bringing in capabilities perhaps from outside. Hong Kong has got a fantastically well-educated and well-trained workforce, so you will be able to find good resources and good talent in Hong Kong. And so make sure you balance bringing in expats with also uh, bringing in the local talent. Um, and then the final thing I'd say about setting up a business in Hong Kong is understand the local nuances and the local culture. There's a few things in Hong Kong you may have heard about, a couple of um, aspects, particularly I'm thinking about things like um, around Chinese New Year, giving out red packets. Mm. This is all not familiar to us in Australia, but it is critically important. It's not a huge financial outlay, but it's a, it's a critically important symbol to make sure that your the team that you employ in Hong Kong and the business that you have in Hong Kong is seen as respectful and seen as part of the community. So make sure you, you understand uh, the culture and the nuances in Hong Kong, and, and that, that will then lead you to have a much, much happier and more engaged workforce. Thank you.